welcome back to Shannon's Plants Planting Time. How are you today? Today I am going to show you my July favorites. I'm a little behind because it is a little into August, but I thought I would take you around the house because nobody's home right now but me and the dogs, so we can have our own time just me and you so anyway let's get going and let's just jump into the video and see these favorites let's get going okay one plant that has absolutely never made my list for favorites is a Diffenbachia because I normally struggle so much with these but this is the Diffenbachia Camouflage. And you can see it has new growth coming in. And this has just really taken off uh, this past month. And I've always had so much trouble with these. And I think I finally figured out what this plant likes. And that is not such bright light and copious amounts of water. I have never, you know, had to give a plant this much water. So it likes a lot of water. I can't say that enough. So anyway, this plant definitely makes the list for this July. I just think the leaf pattern is beautiful and I don't know it's just gorgeous to me so new one for the list Diffenbachia camouflage number two on my list is in the Ikea cabinet and it is my Anthurium crystallinum I have spent so much time with this plant this past month excuse me making sure it is okay and it is putting out a lot of new growth also and its other leaves are hanging on these are hanging on so um yeah anthurium crystallinum it's got just oodles of new growth coming in and Anyway, it's just chilling in its uh, Starbucks coffee uh, cup in sphagnum. And I think I've decided I'm not going to make any changes to it right now. I know I did a whole video on what I should do. But anyway, yes. So, number two on the list, although they aren't in any order. Definitely this Anthurium crystalline. The next one on the list is this huge Hoya Pubicalic Splash that I picked up. And it is just chilling in the IKEA cabinet also. And it is just so super splashy and so much fun. And it just glows under the lights of the cabinet. So, yes. Number three on the list. The Hoya Pubicalix Super Splash. Next on my list of July favorites has to be my Manjula Pothos. And that is because I finally figured out the myth of the brown tips. Now you can see one leaf still has some browning on it. But the myth behind this plant was to pull it back from the window and do consistent watering i did a lot of research on this because like all the tips were brown it was just giving me brown leaf after brown leaf and i pulled it back away from the window it is in the uh about two and a half feet from a grow light not directly under it and consistent watering has made this babe just turn around and she hardly has any brown on her now i'm just waiting for her to trail so 
Next on the list, Manjula Pothos. The next July fave is definitely the Skindapsis Argerius. I did a whole video dedicated to him and how to make him look fuller on the top by cutting and putting the propagations back in the the top of him so they are taking well and he is now on my new shelves in my living room and he is in a beautiful cement pot that I got from Lowe's and I just think that he looks so pretty so next on the list the Skindapsis Argerius and back to the cabinet for another classic beautiful plant this Hoya Green Wayetii I um, picked this up and uh, a couple of months ago and uh, she has been acclimating in the Ikea greenhouse cabinet and what can I say she's big and bold and beautiful and just plain green and that is so refreshing sometimes we forget that plants are supposed to be green and that is what she is so she is gorgeous I am very happy that I got her she is transitioning beautifully and what can I say the cabinet is a magical place because the next plant on the list is this Anthurium Superbum and he has made the list because he is finally putting out a new leaf and folks it has been a minute since this guy put out a new leaf so I tell you the cabinet is a magical place and it makes magic happen so yes the Anthurium Superbum putting out a very pretty new leaf on me making the list for July faves. I think that does it for the list of July favorites. I can't show you all my plants because they're really all my favorites all the time sometimes ones pop when others are kind of uh not popping like uh let me show you a tragic story i do not understand peperomia this is my peperomia Ah, another leaf. He is definitely not on the favorite list. He's been a naughty, naughty boy. I watered him. He didn't come back. So, if you've got the, the myth of the peperomia figured out, please leave me a comment because I definitely need some help in that department. So, anyway, that's my July favorites. I hope you enjoyed them as uh, much as I do, I get to keep enjoying them. You had to enjoy them and then be done with them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, like I just said. And, well, I think I said I hope you enjoyed the plants. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video too. And as always, I hope to see you in the next houseplant video. Bye!